I'm Bob LeCary, and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of how to perform a mechanical splice using the FIS Ultra Splice. First, you want to strip off your outer jacket by using the top hole of the three-hole stripper, or the biggest hole. You then uh, feel free to cut the extra Kevlar off of the cable, like so. The next step is then to take the middle hole of the three hole stripper and strip off the 900 micron tight buffer from the fiber. And remember to strip this off in smaller pieces as it's much easier to remove. Once the 900 micron tight buffer comes off, the last layer that needs to be removed is the 250 micron acrylic coating, which can be removed with the smallest hole in the stripper. And then don't forget to clean with a wipe. Then perform a seven millimeter cleave on your fiber. Once the fiber is cleaved, you're now ready to insert it into one end of the ultra splice capsule. Remember to turn about halfway counterclockwise the gray thumb screws on each side to open up the capsule. Then insert the fiber as straight and forward as, as possible until the fiber goes all the way through into the middle of the capsule. And then tighten the thumb screw to lock the fiber into place. Do the same thing on the opposite side where we strip off our 900 micron buffer, then we strip off our 250 acrylic, and then we cleave. Now insert the other fiber into the capsule the same way as you did the first. Go slow and steady and as straightforward as possible. It helps to have a red visual fault locator shining light through the cable while you do this procedure. When you see most of the red light disappear inside the window is when you know that you've made a quality mechanical splice. Tighten the other thumb screw and now as you can see there is some red light coming through on the end of the cable. Thanks a lot. This is Bob LeCary again product line manager for test equipment at FIS. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call FIS or visit our website at fiberinstrumentsales.com.